Hey guys, wow, um, first video kind of in the new filming space, and wow, my nails match the walls. Anyways, um, first video in the new filming space, and it's not necessarily a good video. Um, I don't know how to say it, I don't know... Like, it's taken me this long, about two or three hours, just to even try and calm down and be able to say words. Um, uh, Luna, Luna, sorry guys. Luna will not be making appearances in the videos anymore. Um, she, uh, she buzzed. She passed away this morning. Um, we don't necessarily know what happened. Um, she was fine. She was, she was eating. She's always been very picky. So if we put dry food in her plate, she would leave it until we eventually gave her table food. Um, but other than that, she was eating, she was drinking, she seemed happy, she seemed fine. <laughs> and um, the only thing was that, sorry guys, hold on. Okay, sorry guys, how was my dad? Um, so, um, I don't even remember what I was talking about, but, um, we don't, okay, that, that's what it was. We don't necessarily know what happened. Um, like I said, she's always been picky, so it wasn't that she wasn't eating. Um, she was still eating, she was still drinking. Uh, um, and uh, last night I gave her a shower because uh, she had honey crusted on her that and we were supposed to take her this afternoon to be seen about the cough. Uh, so last night I gave her a shower and I let her out about maybe 10.30 or so. Uh, from drying off, and um, then at about 11 or so, uh, I let both her and Sassy out in the front. Uh, they're real good about not, you know, taking off, and especially if I'm out there. Um, and so, um, sorry, I know you guys are probably expecting me to be, like, in tears and stuff, but I'll be honest, right now she's, um, Right now she's wrapped up in a trash bag and sitting in front of the baker's rack, so being in here away from it is probably the better, best thing for me to do to be able to form coherent words to talk to you guys. Talking to you guys is making it a little bit easier because I'm not, you know, kind of alone with my thoughts. I'm, you know, talking. I know talking to a camera, but I'm talking to you guys, you know? But anyways, so, um, let them out, and, um, she was kind of slow about it, um, but she did go to the bathroom. Uh, every time she would try and make poo, um, she would almost do it on the sidewalk, and I would kind of mention it to her, and, um, she would move over to the gravel or to a grassy patch that's in front of our, um, our, our house. And, uh, when she was going, trying to make poo the last time, uh, I could hear her breathing really hard, and I told her, don't force yourself, if, you know, if, if it's too hard, don't force yourself. You know, I didn't want her to, you know, to come in here and go to the bathroom in here, but I also didn't want her to overexert herself because I didn't know if it was asthma, I didn't know what was wrong with her, so I didn't want her to, 
you know, overexert herself or anything like that. Um, and then when we got ready to go in, we have a ramp that we had built for my grandma before she passed um, that goes up to our door. And when we were getting ready to go in, Luna just kind of stood, stood there at the bottom of the ramp, like sizing it up. And um, I told her, come on, let's just... Come on, let's just take it slow and we'll go back inside. And so we did, and um, I was going to give Sassy some water, and I you know, asked her if she wanted water before she went back to bed, and she took off. I was looking for her, and she wound up being in my old room. Um, I guess that's kind of where maybe I should have let her be, because she always thought of that as her room. <laughs> But, uh, when she finally came out, I asked her again if she wanted water, and she went to my grandpa's room, so I helped her up on the bed, and that was that. I stayed up for a little bit longer, and at 1.30, when I finally went to bed, she was on the couch, and, uh, she'll, she'll do that when she's waiting for me to go to bed. She'll just come out, and she'll, uh, kind of just start sleeping either on the couch or on my grandpa's chair, and, um... So I thought that's what she was doing, and I uh, went around the house, turned off all the lights and everything, and uh, Sassy was still kind of walking around, so I left uh, the door open for them, and um, <laughs> now I went to sleep, and um, uh, I guess Sassy eventually came to bed, but Luna never did, and so when I kind of woke up this morning, uh, sort of, and I saw she wasn't next to me, I thought, okay, well, maybe she's with my grandpa. And, um, and this morning at about 8 or so, when I woke up, kind of, to get a drink of water, um, he came in, he heard me snap my water bottle shut. He came in, and that's when he told me that she was gone. Uh, she was on the couch all night, apparently. And, uh, Uno, who's our little deaf the sensor, I guess. He uh, was whimpering and everything and trying to make my grandpa wake up. So my grandpa thought he had to go outside. So he got up to let him out. And Uno did just a normal thing. A normal thing. He went, he saw Luna. He went to mess with her. And my grandpa told him to leave her alone. And so he did. And he went outside. And when he, that's when my grandpa noticed that she didn't make any movements to move or to get up or anything like that so he chucked on her and she uh she was gone <laughs> and um yeah so that's <laughs> and um like there's this <sighs> I hate to call it a curse but at this point it really is because um with my um aunts, well, with my grandma's side of the family, uh, all of the money that, like, all the inheritance money and stuff like that, it's weird. Um, my aunt died, and then six months after that, their dog died, and then, um, I want to say six months after that, my uncle died, and then my grandma died, um, about a year later. And now, here it is, six months, and Luna's gone. <laughs> I'll be honest, I really thought it was going to be Sassy first. Because Sassy is older, and she was primarily my grandma's cat. Um, God, I've been crying so much, my head just, it hurts. <laughs> I can't look over there because then I see I can't look over there because then I see the trash bag and like there she is she's gone <laughs> and then my grandpa 
he saw me crying or stuff and he goes, you cried more over a dog than you did over, over my grandma. And I'm like, well, it's because, you know, through everything, the dog was always there for me. It was always there. When I was being bullied, she was there. When things were bad here at home, she was there. <laughs> My grandpa was trying to get somebody to cover for him so he could you know, take care of the dog. He couldn't get anybody, so he had to he had to go in to work and. He had to, uh, to record today, so... I just... Um, when I... When I'm a little bit more ready to talk... I'll, um... I'll kind of um, post a video about how we got her and her story and everything. But right now, I, I, I just can't. I can't right now. <laughs> um, so, uh, thanks guys for watching. And, um, <laughs> um, I know she's she was always a real big part of the videos because she was always in the videos. Um, but, you know me, uh, yeah, um, so, thanks guys, um, I'll see you guys next time, bye.